Hello guys, Foxilify here, and today we are back for another video. So basically guys, I'm going to be giving you something that I have not done yet on my channel, which is actually going to be glitches in Fallout 4. Glitches and ways that you can make unlimited money, unlimited resources, and also a way to get unlimited ammo. Now, the unlimited ammo way will only work for a certain amount of you. However, the other two will work no matter who you are on what console However, i don't know about pc but i can guarantee that all console that'll be xbox and ps4 this works perfectly for for both of your consoles now um i'm gonna start straight away by um, going for the first glitch which is actually going to be the unlimited items mod now i actually got this from someone called atomic he hasn't got many subscribers um but i did actually um I did actually go onto his channel um, and by I found this video by upload date. So what I did is I looked up Fallout glitches and searched by upload date and I did find this video. I checked it out and it worked. This works. So I'm going to actually leave his um, channel in the description below. So if you guys want to go and see if he um, uploads more, then go um, by all means get down to the description and subscribe to him. So guys, as you guys can see, I do have a lot of stuff in my workshop. Um, as you guys can see as well, gold. Um, I did actually um, duplicate that, as you guys can see. So I do have an awful lot. So there's proof that this works. However, stuff like purified water is very difficult. It has to be junk. So it's better to get like a core item. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this with screw. So I'm going to take screw and I'm going to keep it in my inventory. Now we're going to find a place. It's better to do it outside where there's nothing that you can like um, accidentally destroy. For example, um, like a building in your base. So as you guys can see, I'm in my base. So I'm going to drop all my screws here. Now normally Normally, um, I've actually done this wrong, so I'm going to quickly uh, redeem this. Um, normally, so ignore what I'm doing now, guys. If you guys have got four blocks that fall at once or more, just do that. Scrap each and every one of them. Now, what should happen is if you go back into here, so I got this um, wouldn't normally happen for you. This is because I'm, I haven't planned ahead, and yeah, that's happened. So I want to do this um, in the way that you'll probably see it. So if you guys have got this all like this, it should drop like that. If you guys sort of do what I did, if you have more, just scrap them all and then try again. You should have one block of all 89. See, it's got 89. That's a stack. So now this is where it gets a little bit confusing. So what you guys want to do is you want to go into your crafting um bit and what you want to do is you want to hover over with your cursor the screws so as you guys can see square is to scrap and circle is to store um depending on if you're on xbox it'll be x is to scrap and b is to store so guys what you want to do is um I'm, so if you're on ps4 what you want to do is you want to do square and circle but you want to hold down circle as you do it so you want to the easiest way you can do this is um, square and like as you do it click square swipe across the circle and hold down on circle so at the end of the day you want to be able to click both of them at the same time sort of thing so the game uh, notices you click both at the same time but you want to hold on circle the reason why is because this keeps um, the object up or oh, if you're on Xbox it will be um, X um, swipe across the B and hold down on B so if you do it it should look like this not like that sorry like that so you guys um, this does take a couple of attempts because you've got to be quick pretty quick but what you've got to actually do is like click down square swipe to circle and hold down circle there are other other there are other ways you can do this but if you want to like click X and circle not X and circle sorry if you want to click square and circle at the same time and then hold down circle that does work but this is the most efficient so you should come up with this if you are still holding down B or circle um, obviously circle if you're on PS4 B if you're on Xbox one or Xbox 360 um, yeah if you're still holding down that button then this should be up scrap screw so I'll do it one more time to show you guys so what you want to do is do uh, if you're on PS4 square and circle square swipe across the circle and hold down circle or if you're on Xbox you want to do X um, swipe across the B and hold down B so you should get that so what you want to do now is with your free hand you should be with one hand holding on to um, B or circle and with your other free hand you want to click X twice now what this does is this is set scrap so you scrapped it and you also get to store it so what this will do if you guys remember um, I did have 
I believe it was about 80. I don't actually remember the exact number. You guys might have seen that. But I will have double that. Um, so if I go down, I was using screws. So when you go to screw 170, guys, it has it doubled. So what happens is when you do this, it basically doubles. So um, the amount you've got, it stores it and scraps it. So it puts them together and gives you loads. Then when you do, um, if you duplicate that, instead of making the same amount, it won't add 80 to that, obviously. It will double that and then double the next one. So it's really fast way of getting something. So if you're low on um, something like... Um, Adhesive, everyone loses adhesive because adhesive is so hard to get and it's used for nearly every crafting component. So, you know, you guys might need that quite a bit. So, that's a really effective way. However, I have got set up for you guys that don't want to glitch. So, if you guys are like, right, I don't want to glitch, I want to play legit because, you know, a lot of people are like that, um, like glitching kind of ruins the game for them. Then I have just the way you guys can actually get better. Um, and have loads of money and stuff like that. This won't work for crafting stuff. I can give you a recommendation on how you can get lots of stuff. But in the meantime, this will actually potentially help you get stuff. So this is hence why I'm putting this in the video. So this also, this is a legit way of getting money. Um, and as you guys know, money can get you pretty much anything in the game. Hence why I'm including this. So this is legit. So guys, what you want to do is you want to save up your stuff and um, you want to buy a water purifier. Now you'll find this in the resources section of your inventory. So you click water and um, you have these different things. This one produces free. This one produces four. I don't think these ones ones work i think they just upgrade your water um your like water amount the amount of water you have in your game but the water purifier is what you guys want so obviously i can't really stick one down anywhere because i do have a lot um but this one's probably your better for your money because you know um you get more you get 40 um basically 40 water which is probably the max you can get and you want to basically place that down i'm not going to do this because i've already made a lot of these and uh that means i have to make generate as well but what you will do is when you do this and turn it on it'll have like a light that's how you know it's on this produces purified water now you guys are probably wondering well yeah because purified water is great for like healing and stuff but it's not very good for anything else. However, this is where you guys are wrong. Because, say, um, I've had these for a while. So, I do have a lot of water in my crafting, um, or in my workshop. So, well, if I go to my workshop now, you guys will see that I do, in fact, have a awful lot of purified water. In which, this is really good. This is where everything else comes to hand. Because, if you guys don't want to get items and stuff, uh, what you can actually do is um not do that obviously you want to go down and find purified water so it'll be in the p area if it goes down in alphabetical order um yeah so unless you've sorted it of course so yeah purified water i have 180 purified water so obviously as you can see, you can see 40 hp so yeah you can get a lot of stuff for that so um i have 180 and the value is 20 so if we time 180 by 20 I would get um, 3,600 for all of that, which is amazing, to be honest, because money is really hard to come across. But yeah, guys, it's literally, it's so fast of getting money, and this water does come really quickly. So while you're doing missions and stuff, all this water is being stocked up, to, in which you guys can... You know, grab it and then sell it. And in which case, so I got, guys, I've been doing this and I have 23,000 caps. So this is where everything else comes in. So if you guys want to, um, like, say you guys are making a base. And um, this is where the other thing comes in of how you can get legit resources. So basically, what you want to do is you want to save up your money and you want to start buying these. Now, these get you money um, back. However, they do cost a lot of money. So these are emporiums. They cost, on average, about 3,000. 3,000 to actually open but once you open it you can basically sell stuff so it doesn't matter if they're a bar or if they're armor it'd be better off you'd be more beneficial buying something you're going to need a lot like a clinic a clinic's very handy however for some reason my settlers aren't sitting in their areas except this one so i will use this one as an example so if you get loads of water and stuff and you sell it you can basically barter and um yeah and they have a couple of stuff here but if you go into your inventory and um yeah you'll have a couple of things that you can basically sell so if you sold like um let's say you want to sell your medex i just clicked that but basically you could sell all your medex and stuff which is another great way of getting money is by selling your chems chems are something which a lot of them are kind of useless like you get medex which is basically like dam a damage resistance but power armor does that there's a lot of things in which you're not really going to use the only ones i really use are um probably buff jet which is a mix between buff out and jet 
Jet itself, and I also use Stim Packs, obviously. So they're the only three I really need, which I can indeed get uh, get from the clinic. But yeah, money basically can get you anything. So if you buy a general trader, you can get a lot of things which do um, like do give you like items and stuff like desk fans and stuff which give you screws, stuff like that. So in the long run, you can get screws like that legit. So um, that basically covers, guys, the legit way that you guys can get money if you guys don't want to glitch the game. Now, this is um, bringing me on to my next topic, which is actually going to be um, unlimited um, ammunition. So this is something in which a lot of people um, don't have much of. Ammunition is very hard to get throughout the game because you use about a round or two to kill a raider or something. To it, you find they only have about a round on them. So you're using more ammo to kill them than you're actually getting, which is kind of sucks, but that this is a really good way so guys if you guys um have the contraptions workshop um it's not very much i think it's only two or three quid to actually um like actually buy um or something like that i could be wrong um correct me in the comment section if i'm wrong but yeah um basically guys you want to make go and you want to make not a weapons forge you guys want to make an ammunition forge now what this does or an ammunition plant what this does is this basically um makes ammo however it does take some input so you go into the terminal and basically you choose what um ammo you want to make so you click ammunition plant um yeah and you can make all these rounds these different rounds so i'm making 308 rounds at the moment um and then you stick in the things um like the things here that you actually want to um you need to actually make the ammo so i've got copper fertilizer and lead as you can see i have an awful lot which i have actually duplicated because you know it's so tough getting all copper fertilizer and lead copper for a start is very very rare fertilizer isn't it's quite common but it's still pretty rare lead also being quite rare so they're all not very easy to get however um if you're still not thinking about good um duplicate and you can also do the money and go and get loads of copper from the general trader if he has shipments or if he has um objects in there which you can scrap for copper so when you want to do this it will basically spit out a bunch of ammo now what i have noticed is while you're doing missions this does not actually go or like work so what i did here as you guys can see is i basically just stuck a bathtub down so it collects all of my ammo so this is really handy for like if you guys don't want it to all just fall on the floor because obviously it's not going to land anywhere it's pretty tricky to actually like get it all to land in a specific spot so yeah just basically when you're done just pick as much of it as you can up um like i don't normally pick it all up i just pick it down to a rate where it won't like all overflow but um yeah it's it's really good for like ammo so guys as you can see this is actually 308 so this is for my um combat shotgun if i go over to my combat shot my combat rifle sorry it's 7,000 bullets which is actually amazing like um but yeah 308 rounds um like like that they they go really fast like any ammo you want to get you'll get it in a jiffy and yeah, you get a lot of ammo for it because ammo is so hard to get and that basically covers all your problems. I know this is DLC, so it's quite unfair for the guys that um, don't have, um, for you guys that don't actually have that um, DLC. But yeah, the other two ones I'm hoping will help. You've got the non-legit way of getting money and you have the resource. So you guys, you guys who want to glitch, you're probably thinking, well, how do I get money? This is where the resource glitch actually comes in handy because what you guys can do, if you guys want to make money, is you can do, um, find something in which duplication, uh, duplicating it will make a lot of it. For example, I noticed, guys, that if you go down to uh, G and you find your gold, if you even have any gold, it sells for nine. So as you guys can see, a lot of these, um so nuclear materials sell for more, potentially, but I just got gold for the time being because I thought, you know what, it's quite handy. It does weigh an, or, um, an awful lot in, quant in large quantities, but, you know, it's kind of like one of those things where... Um, it's not too much of a problem. So if you were to bring about a thousand of it with you or something, not even that. So, um, yeah, if you bring like a thousand of it with you or maybe like 500 of it with you, they all sell for a hefty amount in which you sell these and get a lot of money and then just buy stuff. So um, you, the only thing you've got to be careful of really is vendors amount they actually have on them. So vendors will have basically um, a limit to their money. So then maybe um, the vendor will have about 400 caps on them. In which case, if you sell loads and loads of stuff, he'll only be able to pay what he's got. So you could basically, if you sell the right amount of gold, you can basically bankrupt him exactly and still have loads left to use on other vendors. So that's probably the most effective way um, you could possibly um, actually sell your stuff. Um, but yeah guys, I think that just about wraps up the video. So I don't actually have any more glitches. They're all the glitches that I actually know. 
Um, but yeah, let me know in the comment section, guys, if you want me to do more glitch videos. I know I don't normally do glitch videos, but you know, I knew, I saw that I had a lot of glitches that I knew for Fallout, and I thought, you know what, guys, I'll run you in with a few of my uh, glitches that I know. But so yeah, guys, so which, in which case, if you guys have enjoyed, please leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. Um, also, let me know in the comments, obviously, if you've enjoyed this and uh, what you want me to do next. If you want me to do another video, uh, like another video on glitches, and if so, what game do you want me to do? Do you want me to still do Fallout? Because I'm kind of running out of ones for Fallout, to be honest. They're all the ones I knew, um, and anymore, I'd be stealing off any other people. Um, but yeah, I hope this guy's um, has helped you out because it sure is something that I would have liked to know when I didn't know these glitches. But with that said, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.